My dear students, in our Torah portion, Lech Lecha, God promises Abraham, I will make your offspring like the dust of the earth. Then God offers him a second blessing. I will make your offspring like the stars of the heavens. In the first blessing, God uses the words ka'afah ha'aretz, like the dust of the earth, which is a low point. In the second blessing, God describes Abraham's offspring as ke'chokvei ha'shamayim, like the stars in the heavens, which is the highest point. Why two blessings that are so different? We are all granted the opportunity to reach for the heavens, the stars, or to allow ourselves to sink to the lowest depths, the dust. There is much that pulls us down toward the earth, and yet there is a dimension within us that calls us to reach higher. We are all physical like the beasts of the field and jungle, but we are endowed with a soul that links us to heaven. We have no choice but to share with the animals the need to eat, breathe, and sleep. But we have every choice to transcend our materiality and soar to the heights in our spiritual lives. We may not be all that different in appearance from other creatures and species. We have limbs and eyes and an ability to communicate as so many of them do. But we are created in the image of God which distinguishes us from everything around us. Rabbi Heschel wrote, We human beings are comprised of both dust and divinity. There is a constant struggle about which shall gain ascendancy. It is a promise and a challenge. As Ophelia said in Hamlet, We know what we are now, but not what we may become. We are dust of the earth, and we may become the stars of heaven. Shabbat Shalom.